Look, you can call your you can call your attorney anytime, but I can't I, I can't make them I can't make them clean the refrigerator out. I can't make them get their clothes. Look, I know $145,000 is a lot to pay for three months for a rental. Out here, it's not unusual, and I am in the middle here. They can't talk to you. You can't talk to them. And everybody's doing stuff they shouldn't be doing. They're pestering you. Oh, great. She hung up on me. Right now? She said, Renee, I have a list of 17 things, and one of them is that the owners are still in the house. Pam has 400 people that work underneath her. She doesn't deal with this little stuff. Who's that? Like who, uh, Pam is a CEO. Who's Anna? Oh, Jerry Seinfeld bought Billy Joel's house on Further Lane in Amagansett. Well, see, I really don't have time to show houses. I pretty much just list houses. That's... Oh, wait, 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 wait. You're getting a little... People. You're getting a little ahead of yourself. He bought it for $22 million, and he tore it down and rebuilt the house. Yeah, but you said you and your husband wanted a beach house in Southampton. We looked at five of them on the ocean right down by Calvin Klein, remember? I thought you were going to steal my listing. Did you really think I was going to steal your listing? Real estate is skewing everything out there. Rich are getting richer and poor are thriving and taking care of the rich. Austere feel to it, whereas East Hampton feels like young and vibrant, and they're like dancing on the streets, kind of. They got all this money and they have bags of it, and they can't wait to spend it. <laughs> you can't take the fence down around the pool. No, that's a Southampton town rule. You can't take the fence down around the pool. I must show you Renee Zellberger's house. It's really charming, actually. Oh, that is I've cute. Never seen her here. I think she's out back, and it's a shy acre, no pool. She bought this last year uh -huh. for around six million. We stayed here once. We have been misplaced in this for three weeks, as you well know, from construction. So I have everybody cranky yeah. already. I'm sick of the people. I'm sick of the attitudes. No, I can't. I can't. I, no, I can't. I, I can't. I don't take customers out, and I'm certainly not going to take a guy like that out. I mean, he's oh, jumpy. He's crazy. You know. Uh, I mean, I don't know what I'll do to him in the car. They're not paying my bills. In fact, I'm paying half of their bills. That's bullshit. This is bullshit, the whole thing. Well, yeah, yeah, I wish I was a social worker because, man, that would be a lot easier. You need a degree in psychology to be a real estate well, agent. I mean, I've been a broker over 30 years, and it doesn't get any easier, and it doesn't get better. It just gets more competitive. I mean, there are a thousand brokers here in the Hamptons right now vying for the same properties, scraping and fighting and clawing each other. There is never a dull day in real estate, I have to tell you. Money.